gets a, gets a lot of flack because a lot of people they just don't understand. River through the valley, there's a tree with a hanging rope. And on a bank you lay. About God, this is about the outdoors. Hunting, fishing, trapping. This episode brought to you by Jasco Products, makers of the Eco Survivor Lantern. Stand up to the elements. Friend knife making. Quality knives made in America. Beanville Outdoors, home of Deep South Trapping Lures and Old South Deer Lures. The All-American Sun Oven, the ultimate solar appliance. Red Feather Archery, home of the Talon. Nice targets, a superior shooting experience. Decent footage of him, a little bit of footage, not a whole lot. He came out pretty early, but we got some of him. We're going to set tight. It's about 740. Did a little bit of rattling. It hasn't seemed to work. We're just going to set tight here and see what we can do. Freezer. No does. It's the only deer we've seen today. I let him go by the first time. He come by again. I went ahead and stroked him. Gonna have some burger. Some backstrap, baby. I like that backstrap. We got T Mac over in the tree. We're hoping he can get it done now. We're just going to sit here a little while and wait, see what happens. The arrow go through him. No, it was stuck in him, I'm pretty sure. There it is, right there. Yep. 
Well, it's covered stem to stern, isn't it? Oh, yeah. MOT3 meat missiles, boy. Meat missiles. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't think we're going to have to look very far on this shot. I don't shot. think we went far this time. Relaxed here so I can put them up. <laughs> on the go, all ready to roll all the time, aren't they? I'm down there, kid. <laughs> I really thought for sure, though, he was going to come right in there and he's going to. The Eco Survivor Lantern stand up to the elements. Utilizing patented technology, the Eco Survivor Lantern delivers a consistent white light with unprecedented energy efficiency. This Lantern series provides an omnidirectional battery operated solution that omits a brilliant white 350 lumen light with a range of up to 50 feet. 3 level dimming feature, durable locking carabiner handle, providing versatility allowing it to be carried or hung anywhere. The Eco Survivor Lantern's tough, rugged exterior and design makes it perfect for any outdoor adventure. Utilizing the ever popular Realtree design in pink, orange, and green, the Eco Survivor Lantern suits your personality. Are you tired of changing out targets all the time? Then I'd like to introduce you to Nice Targets, a superior shooting experience. Recyclable, long lasting, weather and UV resistant. 100% more shots equals half the cost. Nice targets. High resolution, photorealistic. Nice targets are quality, cost efficient targets made in America. And plus, just look how good they look. I'd hang this stuff up on my wall. It's like having art in the room. They also make traditional style range targets for all your other shooting needs. The next time you have to choose between paper and plastic, go with the plastic. Red Feather Archery presents the Talon. This devastating small game head is machined from a solid piece of steel, combining the blunt force trauma of a traditional blunt with the cutting edges of a three blade broadhead. Scallop tip helps reduce snaking for a better arrow retrieval with field point like accuracy. I think after I spooked him that first time, he was kind of shying away from me. But like, I'm like you, the third time I seen him, I was like, I'm going to shoot this guy. I was looking at my Facebook messages <laughs> and you said, I'd just be happy if one of us gets something. And I said, you know, there's some burger meat right there. <laughs> Come back here, Doug. Yeah, I was like, you've gotten too many free passes today, buddy. You're Got him. Golly. That thing's been broke off, hasn't it? Yeah, he's been beat up. Got a couple holes in him, but he's good. He's had, he's had a rough one. <laughs> sure. So what happened on that first shot? Don't put your binoculars in your pocket, boys. <laughs> when you do that bowstring you rake against them, throws that air off. When you throw it off, <laughs> you gotta shoot him again and look for him. <laughs> that's, and not, it, that's not how it's supposed to work. Cause I I know you're a pretty good shot. Yeah, I can shoot a bow. Maybe it's the combination of the it's binoculars the, it's and the that binoculars, gut. Binoculars, the adrenaline, <laughs> the deer just showing up. You're like me. You got an automatic stop in front of your bow if you don't care with them. Yep. He ain't the biggest thing in the woods, but 
my kids are going to enjoy. That's right. I mean, you got you're like me. You got a pass of them, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to shoot him. If he come by me again, I was going to shoot him. I was hoping he'd come in there on you. <laughs> okay, so we got it done this morning. We did. <laughs> Not with one of these, but uh, Casey shot a nice little buck. But I was wanting to kind of brag on him a little bit, show what he's been up to. He's done a lot of work to this place. I can tell. Uh, we're staying in a food plot. What all you had out here? Uh, we had some turnips, some radishes. They're still coming on strong. We need a pretty good frost before they start coming to hit them. Uh, soybeans, they uh, they really didn't have a chance. They, as soon as they turned green and come out of the ground, they were on them. <laughs> they, the soybeans are knocked down, but he's got some radishes out here. Here's one of them. I'm taking this home to eat it. But, uh, this is a buck he arrowed last year. 13 points, I believe. What did he score? One, 162. 162. Non-typical because of this double main beam deal here. Go typical, he loses several inches, but who I don't, cares? Nothing loses on my deer. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gross. But your work's paying off, it looks like. Yeah, uh, it is. You're getting some, now this one here he found just yesterday, dead, and do you scored him? Did you score him no, yet? No, did not score him yet. He is a nine point, it looks like he was a 10, main frame eight, and we're guessing him about 160s. And just died of old age, probably. Yeah. Over there in a thicket. So uh, he's doing. You're doing good. You're 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 getting some good quality deer. Why did he shoot the little one this morning, though? Jerky. <laughs> Back straps. Uh, you know, I've shot some pretty big deer. You've shot some big deer. But when it comes down to it, when that jerky comes by for the third time, it's time to time to put him down. Wait. We, 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 we gave him a fair chance to, <laughs> we to, seen, to live another day. You seen him. He came over to me. I seen him. Then he went back to you. Then he came back to me. Then I kind of boogered him up a little bit. He went back around you. Come out and I was going to shoot him. If they come close, I was going to shoot that buck. Just because I figured he was wanting to be shot. But he went over and uh, the first shot, like you said, he... Hit, hit his uh, was your binoculars, binoculars in, the, in the pocket of the hoodie. And it threw a shot off, but we gave the deer time and watched him. I was watching him guiding Casey in to the deer. I could see him the whole time. And he got up, went over there. I missed the shot as far as the camera, but Casey put a heck of a shot on him and put him down quick and clean, and that's what we want. We got him recovered. Now we're off to the processors, and I tell you what, I've had a good time. I did too. Thanks. I appreciate you coming. You come anytime. I th I thank you. This is this is pretty neat. He's put a lot of work into this. And I tell you what, that right there, I wouldn't mind shooting that. Yeah, they're out here. I wouldn't mind shooting that either, though. I don't I don't know if they're quite as good as him, but there's some out here that are real <laughs> close. Whew. Well, let's get this dude out of here. I'm ready for a nap. Let's do it. Autism awareness isn't just about the statistics. It's about the facts, the people involved, and the struggles they go through daily. The All-American Sun Oven, the ultimate solar appliance. At only 22 pounds, this quality American-made product is perfect for camping, hunting, or an emergency situation. The ability to bake, boil, steam, and dehydrate with just the power of the sun. Friend knife making. Quality knives made right here in the good old US of A. Hand forged custom knives, hawks and leather working. You can visit their website at www.friendknifemaking.com <laughs> Hammer Time Custom Calls by Joey Dobbs. If you all know me, you know I use Joey Dobbs Hammer Time Custom Calls. Joey, he makes these all handmade and custom to order. He has a lot of different woods you can choose from and stuff. So check him out on Facebook or email him at joeydop at gmail.com. You want to get closer to game? You better have your game face on.
Are you ready to take your trapping and hunting to the next level? Visit BinesAllOutdoors.com, home of Deep South Trapping Lures, Old South Deer Lures. They also have traps, snares, trap supplies, fur handling gear, books, DVDs, clothing, and a wealth of knowledge for any outdoorsman. Bindsville Outdoors. Check them out today at www.bindsvilleoutdoors.com. Already. First time in the hole. First time. <laughs> T-Max behind already. T-Max, set up the camera. <laughs> Got a good. Oh, boy, Don't let it get away. It's a good one. Double. Mine. Oh, mine's a good one. Mine's a good one. Mine's a good one. Big ol' white bass. Boy, that's a big ol' white bass. Big ol' white bass. Wow. <laughs> That's a pretty good little white bass, or big white bass there. Yeah. Look at there. Keeper crappie. Keeper crappie. That's a hog. <laughs> that is a pig. Let's get that on there. That is a pig. Wow. Man, if this is the crappie, this is the one. <laughs> this is the one. Thought you had a new state record there, didn't you? Got another good. Ooh, wee. It's on, boys. It's on. So, Pippa Bobby got it. No oh. pizza tonight, huh? The only bad thing about these Bobby Garlands, you catch a few fish on them. When you set the hook and miss, they always seem to slide down that shank. Quickest, easiest way to fix that, bottle super glue. Put your one drop up there around that shank. Slide her back up there, hold her for a second. She's good to go. It won't fall down anymore. You'll have to cut it off when you want to put a new jig on. That's the, that's the, it's simple, it's fast, it's easy, and it works. And it's cheap. And it's cheap. Saves you money. I think I broke the eye. Randy's on the board. Randy's on the board finally. Look out now. Look out, folks. It's on. <laughs> Still got a bad dream though. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can't pull the two pounder out of T Max over here while he's over there. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Keeper. He's over there trying to be pretty for the camera. I don't have to try to be pretty for the camera. I am pretty. He just fell right off here. I thought it was about to cut the line. Well, that's a good choppy there. There's so many of these little white bass down there. We need to be catfish. I didn't bring my rig. My rig's up there. Toss them in there, Randall. I'm going to be over here catching one of them. We'll get these slabs over here. There's somebody over catching them for you. 
Casey a question because I'm, I'm pretty new to this. So I love catching them, but I just don't know the difference. I can see now, but tell us what the difference between a black and a white crappie. Which one's which? All right, we got the white crappie here. And if you'll see, the pattern on this fit, well, here, hold this one for just a second. The pattern on this crappie with its dots, if you can see, they form a line all the way down the fish. That's a white crappie. Anytime you catch a crappie, and the lines are formed down the side of the fish, that's a white crappie. Now, if we go to the black crappie, he's more speckled in. Yeah. And a lot of people call them speckle bellies. But if you'll see, they're just sporadic. Their black, their black marks on, on their pattern are everywhere, cover their entire body. That's the difference between a white and black crappie. In the springtime, when they're up on the bank spawning, doing their thing, they all turn black. They get black as charcoal, almost a purple. But that's the difference in the winter time is when you can really tell it. Thank you. Oh, we're a quarter inch shy. Quarter inch shy. Three. If I catch three in a row right here, that means you guys come over. Oh no, we're just letting you get some today because we're kind of Well, it's working. That one looks a little small. That'll be a hole, huh? Finally. Better get over to the P Mac because if he can catch the trees, there's got to be three thousand of them. <laughs> hey. I guess the food's worth the harassment. Well, I promise you one thing. In this group we got here, if you don't get no harassment, there's something wrong. You can't be light skin, huh? Well, can't, I mean, you can't, can't be, be thin-skinned. Thin can't be thin-skinned. Salt and pepper Bobby Garland. 16th ounce Cherokee weedless jig head. Delicious golden brown goodness the right there. <laughs> I want more. So Did you put That's the key is there? you don't overcook it. No gang signs. <laughs> hear that hear that notch <laughs> popping. What, get do up? 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I know I had a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed Casey. Probably going to be seeing a little bit more of him around, you know, as we do this. Uh, crappie fishing, deer hunting, man, I tell you what, some of the most fun you can have out in the fall woods. And get out there. Good eating, good fellowship, just enjoying what God gave us. I tell you, it just it doesn't get much better than that. Next week, we're going to be hog hunting with my good buddy Stan of Red Feather Archery. So, Come join us. I know you're going to have fun. God bless. I love y'all, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, from the soul zone. tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land. <laughs>